I started with my arms in the holes and it just didn't look right. <laughs> Boom hammock, this, this. On a scale of one to five, I think this is a Trends, we see them every season. Some we love and some are a little bit, yeah. Yeah, and some of them are just like, what were you guys thinking? <laughs> are we supposed to actually wear this? <laughs> Whatever, I guess. Today we thought it'd be fun to switch it up a bit and try three of the most wild, maybe outrageous, maybe just plain questionable trends this season. Each one of us is going to get that trend and we're gonna style it on our own, but the thing is, we're not even gonna find out what trend that is until we get to the mall. So let the challenge begin. Uh, let's go to the mall, shall let's we? Let's do it, yeah, let's go. go. Wait, I want, the, I want the one over there. That's not the mall. <laughs> My spring trend is cute. Oh, that's right. To me, these are kind of ugly, but what? yeah, but they're totally coming back. I don't think they're ugly at all. I think they're hot as hell. I already have an idea, maybe of when I think will be cute. Is there? Ooh, cream color. And it's just this color palette. She likes the cream. Oh, the back sound. Back was dressed with like a very, very odd hood. Okay, dresses are hard because like, what are you styling or adding to it? You know, right? Yeah. Especially like, this was already the hood. You can't do hats, so it's like, so I have shoes and accessories. Exactly. Would I think you use the right back? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Pretty oh. color. That's the color. Silk. What is this? A skirt, pants. Okay, it looks like it's a top and it has uh, one arm top. You know what's so funny? I've been seeing this a lot lately, like the pop out flowers on dresses. That's my stuff like that. Here we. Oh, a choker. Oh, like, wow. They're really going all out. You got Thanks. a corset top, a choker, a 3D flower, a long sleeve, asymmetrical, like all of the things. Let's go shopping. I have an idea in mind for this skirt. I want to do kind of almost like a festival out there. Just, I don't know, something cool, something springy, summery. And then I saw a jacket. I don't want to show you guys the jacket yet. Nope. Also, show it on the jacket. I have two options. I could do like a long boot that's cream, or I could do this black, like combat boot. Or maybe I go with inspiration from this and go like super chunky clonker boot. I love a good clonker boot, like one that makes a lot of noise. Okay, so I'm not having the best of luck. Um, I'm feeling like I'm gonna go with like a wide like pant, maybe a really fun, funky shoe or something. So many possibilities, there's a red top, or I could go off full on salsa and get a nice skirt. How's it going, Matt? Oh, how's it going, Sinead? I didn't see that. Oh. I came into H&M and then I saw this top and now I can't decide what's gonna be a cuter outfit because now I feel like this top is a little bit more like upscale. <gasps> Wait, that vest over there would be cute. Okay, now I'm overwhelmed. You guys, it's so crazy. Like Sinead always acts like my style's not that cute, but she just keeps following me around everywhere. Look, she's pretending like she's not following I'm me. I'm just making sure you're doing okay. So I was thinking of just getting some like light wash jeans to go with the red top. I was thinking more like loose fitted with some nice heels. Jeans are cute, but not exactly what I'm going for. I need a looser fit for the exaggerated top. So I'm gonna try on another pair. Got on another pair, but it's still not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm about to get so much crap for shopping at Aritzia because I shit on it so much. The girls are going to attack me, especially Madeline. She's like, oh, Jackie, you want the name of Aritzia? I can hear it now. I can hear it now. All right, so I did it. I got my full outfit and I'm really excited about it. I did get a lot of accessories, but the dress is kind of a lot already. So I'm trying not to push it, but I found some really cute things. I can't wait to take it all home. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, I got the denim maxi skirt. I feel so cute in this outfit. This is definitely out of my comfort zone, like first glance when I think about a maxi denim skirt. I just feel, I don't know, I've, mini skirts were like all the thing. We did denim mini skirts, mm -hmm. so denim maxi, okay. But then I was like, okay, maybe I'll pair it with like a cute little crop top, like a skims style top. And then we went to Zara and I flourished, okay? I got this cute little white yes. basic top. We did a Zara oversized. Did you give me this bag? Yeah, they hate the bag. Yeah, the bag sucks. But just hear me out. It was like a baby denim. It was giving Britney Spears with the denim on the denim. Okay, I hear you. Yeah, I, I don't see know. That. I had to lean in a little bit when I saw that. It's I Zara. hear you. Not but, just you know, lean well, out. Like, a lean out. Yeah. yeah. Because lean out? this okay. 
is fire. I'll let you finish. Okay, but, it's yeah. definitely just like a cute, I think basic, but elevated basic. Like it looks like I tried. And yeah. that's yeah. great for me. Jacket is Zara. I did a size large, like kind of like a little oversized moment. Mm -hmm. I knew when I got this skirt, I wanted to do a cowboy boot. For whatever reason, I was like, I want a knee high cowboy boot. Got these at Steve Madden. Brought in, I think, tied in the look with the boots to the jacket. And now I just feel cool, elevated, Very trendy. Cool. The accessories are really simple. H&M, brought these hoops from home. Like, I'm happy. I feel like I'm not scared of this trend anymore. I think you really lucked out. It's festival season right now, so the boot selection yes. was next level. Every yes. store we went into also had yeah. the best kind of like edgy rocker yeah. festival country vibe. I think that the boots and the jacket add a lot of depth to what could have been a very basic outfit. The maxi skirt overall, the trend itself, I think is a great trend. Same. I think it's a really nice way to do, like you said, like casual, but I tried. I think you killed this trend. Yes. I love how you styled it. I love the boots. I love the jacket. On a scale of one to five, I think this is a five. Mm -hmm. I think a statement maxi skirt in general is so fun. You can play with it however you want. Dress it up, dress it down. Next, the trend, if you can see, is a floral 3D top, which for me like is so so out of my comfort zone. And also we've been seeing this trend pop up a lot, which yeah. I think is a little annoying. Like, I think this top is cool and unique if it was just a standalone. Mm -hmm. But when you start seeing all different types of outfits with flower skirt, flower top, flower choker, it's like, chill. Get a hold of yourself. So when I got this, I was like, great. This is gonna be so much fun. So because the top is so much already, you got the long sleeve, you've got the flower top, you got the choker, I was like, Okay, let me go with the jeans. It's really hard for me to find a jean that fits. So I went to everybody in the room, including Bridget, hold your breath. I went to Aritzia. I could hear it now. You did? That surprises me. went to Aritzia me. because I thought, you know what, since I can't find a jean here at the mall, I'm gonna get a black skirt. I think that could be like really sexy, have like really lean into the salsa moment. Mm -hmm. And they had this like silk uh, maxi dress. And I was like, all right, I've been here at the mall for an hour. We've got things to do. We have things to shoot. Get something, Jackie. And then, so I was in the dressing room and I put it on. I was like, girl, you're doing way too much. It's so like now, the same exact materials. It's like silk, silk. And yeah. then like the black strappy shoes, like no. barf. Like Stop it. Get some help. So anyway, so I was in the dressing room. I was like, I can't go out like this. Damn, Jackie. Do something, Jackie. And then there was these Levi jeans. Y'all know I love me some Levi's. And Levi's are trustworthy. These jeans were back there. So I put this together. I put it together a size nine shoe on my foot. It doesn't fit. <laughs> but I'm out here and I'm ready to shine with confidence. Go on with your bad <laughs> out. I see a lot of girls pull off these type of tops and they look really pretty. It's just not for me. I mean, the boob hammock, this, this. A boob hammock is also like a trend I would love to see die. Die, this yes. is not flattering like for every anybody. Dress you do look cute in it, but it's not your style. Yeah. And it's okay yeah. to look Ooh. cute in something that's not that cute, yeah. you know? <laughs> My trend was the hooded dress. I was actually like shocked to hear was a real trend because this just throws me back to like circa 2009 when it was like hoodie dresses were all the rage <laughs> in high school. <laughs> Essentially, this is a plain dress that yeah. looks like it could be from anywhere and it has a hood. And I hate a hood dress now, but I was like, how do I make this fun, different, mm -hmm. exciting. I knew already with the dress, I wasn't gonna have to buy a lot of clothing pieces, but I didn't wanna just rely on the dress, so I went and got this oversized blazer from yes. H&M. And I hate wearing a blazer like this, you guys know I do. I think no, it's I ridiculous like ridiculous when you don't stick your arms through the holes. I started with my arms in the holes and it just didn't look right. <laughs> so I, I like, like that the hood it. is down now. I think it like adds more like street, like okay, you're not trying so hard to put the hood but on. Like, I mean, it's like the hooded dress is so ridiculous. <laughs> I got these chunky boots, I'm obsessed. Yeah, they're no, so they're cute. So good. These are almost my favorite thing I've ever put on my body if it wasn't for this freaking bag. This bag is so cute. And the material of the bag really matches the material of the boot. I love the lace up detail. Mm -hmm. It definitely adds like a cool little edgy vibe. But I was like, okay, unless you're wearing a very fancy hooded dress, which I have seen a lot of recently on carpets and stuff where people have like ball gowns with yeah. like hoods and yeah. like they have these long capes. That's obviously a, a whole other thing. I think the hood with this if there was no hood, it would just be really formal. There's something about the hood that makes it more, that makes sporty, it more sporty and casual and street right. style. I'm like obsessed. Yeah, I think you have to play with this to kind of make the hood make sense. Make the yeah. hood on the dress be like, why are you wearing a hooded dress and not just a regular dress? I like it with the shades too. The shades are fire. Shades are freaking cute. These are from H&M and like, oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna have to give this a two out of five. I'm gonna have to see a lot more of this dress making sense in a non like 
like ball gown type of way. I need to see it a lot more casually for me to be like, yes, I'm gonna go out of my way to buy dresses with hoods. I'm not even going out of my way to buy dresses, like period.